So I'm trying to create my own Unity voxel game and uh, throughout uh, my development I'll show you the steps about how to make a voxel model, how to make the particle system, how to make SVO and uh, oak trees. So uh, you will be able to use them in your own project. So primarily you need to create a voxel model. For such purpose we can use Magical Voxel or Goxel. Those are free applications which you can download uh, in the internet without any problems. Now on the video you can see as I use uh, Magical Voxel application. It's very comfortable and easy. You can find a lot of guides on the YouTube and throughout the internet because it's very simple to use it. And as well, you don't need any 3D modeling experience, as everything is made from small cubes. When you already finished creating your voxel 3D model, you can press the export button, which is placed at bottom right corner. Uh, then you can choose any format you want it to be. OBG, Vox or 2D cube, it doesn't matter. The next step is to implement your 3D voxel model in Unity. Unfortunately, there is no way to import the voxel model as it is made by voxels from Magical Voxel. I tried to solve this problem and now you can see an experiment of regenerating the 3D models by cubes. So making it kind of voxel. Uh, unfortunately, I understood that this is uh, the bad idea as it takes a lot of time and resources. As Unity is not a voxel engine, you will always need to have the cube as the primary root of your oak tree. So on internet I found a guide how to import the voxel model actually made by cubes into Unity. And for this purpose you need goxel application. I personally prefer to create the voxel model in magical voxel and then as a vox file to import it in Goxel. It's made easily by opening the folder where you store your Voxel model and then carrying it into the, your Goxel project. As you can see now, we have the Voxel model which we created in Magical Voxel in Goxel. Then you need to click File and choose the Export. And then choose Text File. Next, you will need Parse Voxel Structure script. The guide for its use and creation I will leave in the description. When you've got your model done, you can put it on the scene. Next thing which we will do is we will create a shooting controller script. Public controller bullet prefab is the bullet which we will use to shoot. Public float bullet speed is the speed of the bullet. Public transform shoot point is the point where the bullet will be generated. Void update is if we will press the button on the keyboard, for example E, we will have the private void shoot done. In private void shoot, we have debug log which says that our script is working. Game object bullet will be created in this private void. The rigid body as well will be added to the bullet and the velocity will be added as well. I would preferably put the script on our camera. Make sure that the point from which the bullet will shoot will be a little bit further than the collision of your player because if the bullet will collide with player collider, it will be destroyed. So in bullet prefabs, we put the bullet itself, bullet speed, we set it as 10, and shoot point we set as an empty game object. The next script which we will need to create is self-managed oak tree node. So max depth is the number at which our voxel, root voxel, will divide. 
then public current depth is the current uh, level at which our object root voxel is divided. At the start it's zero, so it's not divided at all. Public float explosion force and other like explosion riders and explosion upward modifier are the floats which help us to create an effect of explosion, of exploding parts. So they will kind of separate. It's not necessary, but for visual effect it would be profitable. Then, in private bool is divided, is kind of the flag which shows us if the bond is being divided or not. Private list game object is the list of children voxels. Then, in the void start, we have very important part of getting the material of parent. So, they will, the parent voxel and the children voxel will have the same material. If parent voxel doesn't have any material, then the color will be default gray. In the next part, we have the if, which says that only children voxels will get the rigid body. Of course, you can set the rigid body for the parent voxel by default in the inspector, but you need to make sure that the children voxels have the rigid body. Then in next private void subdivide, we have the thing which will make our root voxel divide. As well, we put the vox layer for the children voxels. Then we get the scale of the children voxel and its position. Here we make sure that the scale is right and the position is right. As well, we create the children voxel. Here we put the same material as the parent has. As well, if we will have more than one depth, then we will add the script for uh, self-management of Octree node for the children as well. So they will be able to divide even on smaller parts. Here we save the link for the children voxel and as well we create the force, explosion force. In this part we add the delete script for the last voxel children and as well destroy the main root voxel as well. In private world on collision enter we just have the collision. So if bullet, game object with tag bullet will collide it will be destroyed and call for the method. In public void destroyed node, we have the method of deleting all children voxels. The next script is simply to create the bullet. So give it the velocity and the private void on collision entry. As well, we need to create a destruction script for the last depth level. So the voxels on the last level will be deleted in four or six seconds randomly. The self-management of tree node we put on all cubes or voxels which you will want to be destroyed and set them. Then bullet script we put on the sphere on the prefab of the bullet. In my case it's sphere, in your it can be either sphere or capsule or other 3D object which you put. In my opinion, the result is mesmerizing, counting how much hours I spent on creating the system for destruction. As you can see, our character is being destroyed on the smaller cubes. Now I can get through him because I set the layers so I won't step on the smaller particles because sometimes you can just get through the plate on which you are standing because of the physics. Sometimes they work wrong, uh, but in general the destruction happens perfectly. I didn't even thought it will work like this. On uh, this character we have the depth one, so the voxels can be destroyed only one time. 
I created this character in the magical voxel and as you can see it's working perfectly for the larger number of depth for the larger like level of depth uh, you will be able to destroy the voxels which are even smaller in my case I cannot because I have only first level so this model is fully destroyable later you can add particle system to make it look even better so if you like this video, like and subscribe please, and see you next time.